To start your tote bag, you're going to need one inch rolls of duct tape, some clear tape, a ruler, scissors, exacto knife, a staple gun, some sort of cutting surface, and the D rings are optional. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is make a duct tape sheet. Um, assuming everybody already knows how to make a duct tape sheet, if you don't, basically it is just laying a strip of tape, overlapping it by one fourth of an inch until you get the desired measurement that you'd like. So the measurements for these duct tape sheets is 16 inches wide and 12 and a half inches tall. You're just going to use that half, well actually mine ended up being 12 and 3 quarters, but you're just going to use that half to 3 quarter inch um, leftover tape to fold over so you have a soft um, soft brim right here at the top. So the next option is when you flip it over sticky side up you can either use clear tape like I have here and that makes it so it's more flexible. As you can tell it's very flexible with the clear tape. But if you're wanting a more durable tote bag you can use just any type of duck brand tape if you'd like um, the extra durability. So you're going to need a total of two of these duct tape sheets and I use just any normal clear tape. I believe this is duck brand but it's not like the HD or anything. So when adding the straps I'm going to teach you how to do it with the D-rings but if you don't have the D-rings you can still attach it without having to use these. So in this case if you're not going to use the D-rings then I suggest skipping this um, section and just go ahead and, and make your entire strap and you can just attach it right to your bag without having to use the D-rings. So if you're going to use the D-rings, you're going to want to cut four strips of tape that is five inches long and you're going to fold it onto itself like that and then fold over the remaining sticky like that and you'll have a total of four of those. Okay, so now you're going to take your little straps that you've made here and you're going to weave it, through, well not weave it, but pull it through your D-ring like that and fold it in half. And you want the um, two pieces that meet to be on the inside like that. And we're going to take your bag up to your line and you're going to measure over three and a half inches and place your first one down. And then you're going to go over to this edge and you go in three and a half inches and place this one down there. And then you're going to take your staple gun and staple all the way down. And if you have any loose ones, pull them out. You don't want to stab yourself later on with it. So something like this, but you're going to go all the way down like you see I did in this one right here. So you're just going to staple all the way down and then afterwards we're going to cover that up so you won't even see the staples on both sides. You'll cover both of these up. Okay so um, once you've got your straps on to your first duct tape sheet like this one, you're going to use it as a pattern. So put it underneath this top one like that and you're going to use it like a pattern so you know exactly where to, to uh, attach your straps at. You want them to be even. You don't want one taller than the other on the opposite side. So this is the best way to keep them all lined up in the same spot. So as you can see these two are already on. Now this one I'm going to place on. So you can see where that's located at right about there. I'm going to level up. my sheets a little bit and fold that down line it up to that one and then tear that off and start stapling it and you're going to go ahead and continue to staple all the way down these strips like I did right here and then you can take a strip of tape and cover it up or there's another way you can do it by just taking a strip of tape and going lengthwise so you still have those long stripes. Um, if you're not using the D-rings this is how you're going to attach your strap 
the same way but you'll have your entire strap that goes all the way around and you'll staple the one side and the other side here so you don't have to have d-rings it's an option okay so now that you have your strap stapled on and you have your tape over top of your your staples you may actually want to put a couple of different um, strips of tape on just to secure it and so that way you won't have these poking out, the staples poking out. So what I did was I just placed a piece of um, pastel blue tape and then I put my polka dot tape over top of it and then I just put one at the top just so that way I have um, just for the color. I like the color pop at the top. <clears throat> so that's what I did to both of my sheets and then afterwards I covered up the staples on the inside with another sheet of another strip of tape which you may want to do two of as well just to make sure that those staples don't poke through at you okay so our next step after you've got your straps attached is you're going to <clears throat> place one of your sheets facing upward and then your other one facing the opposite direction so they're sandwiched together like that and if it makes things easier for you okay well you're going to line this up but if it makes things easier for you when we're stapling this together, you can use a ruler and go down the side and probably do like a half inch mark of a pen on the side. And that way you'll know exactly where to staple at. I'm, I just like to staple all the way around except for the top. I'm going to staple the, the two sides and the bottom just the way that it is right now. But if you need a guide, you can just take your ruler and mark it with a pen and you'll know exactly where to put your staples at. So that's exactly what I'm going to do right now is just staple all the way around the bag. Turn it around this way and continue stapling all the way around. Okay, so now that you have your bag stapled all the way on all three sides, you're going to need three strips of tape, two that is the length of your sides and one that is the length of your bottom. You're going to take one of your strips of tape on your sides. You're going to place it half on and half off like that. So the best way to show you here is by putting your arm inside of the bag and you're going to fold over that tape onto your staples here. You want to fold the staples and the tape at the same time. So I stick my hand inside the bag and I fold it on a straight edge and you might have to play with it a little bit but if you just fold it down you should get a nice straight edge and you're going to do that to all four sides so I'll show you again on this side you're going to take one of your strips of tape you're going to cover up half of the staples or cover up the staples so you're putting your strip of tape half on half off like that. Peel it up and when you're wanting to you're wanting to stick your arm inside your bag this is how I do it. It's a lot easier this way. If not you can just fold it like this over top of your staples. You're folding your sheet your duct tape sheet here you have and and your tape you want to fold over your staples like that. So if you want you can just go down the line like this and folding it over or you can stick your arm inside of the bag, hold it like that, and then just fold it over like that. Press down, and that side is covered, just like that. Now you're going to do the same thing with your bottom. Take your strip of tape you use on your bottom. I'm going to do the same thing here. Half on my staples, or half on covering my staples and half off. So like that. Cut off any remaining 
sticky or fold it over or whatever you choose to do there. Now that you have all your staples covered, we're going to stand it up like this. Stick your hand down in the bottom here and you're going to push in on your sides until you get a two inch well if you want to do a larger then you can but this will create a two inch bottom for your bag so from here you can either use a ruler like that and mark it if you would like so you know exactly where to put your staples at or you can put a piece of tape it's totally up to you Okay, so I'm just going to use a Sharpie, put your ruler there on your two inch mark, and mark it with a Sharpie or a pen, whatever your choice of, and that will mark where you're going to put your staples at. So now you're going to take your staple gun, and go right across from that. further okay so now that you have that stapled what we're going to do is fold this over and tape it but first you want to do your opposite side as well so you come over here stick your arm inside your bag push this in like that until you get a two inch and once again you can take your ruler and mark your two inch mark if you'd like And that will tell you where you have to put your staples at. Like that. And so once again, you're going to fold that in. You're going to fold in these two edges here. And you're going to tape that. Okay, now you're going to cut yourself a couple of strips of tape. Um, it doesn't really matter. I just cut out a couple of four inch strips. You could probably go larger. You're gonna fold in your flap right where that red mark is at. And you're going to tape this off. So, like that. You're gonna do the same thing to your next one. And now you're going to um, completely cover this whole bottom with tape and cover up the edges right here since those, one, those two strips probably aren't going to be enough to hold it in. So completely cover your entire bottom with tape to, just so that way you have that extra durability. Once you have your bottom covered with tape, you're reinforcing those flaps so it doesn't pop back up on you. You're just going to fold it inside right. So you can start by pushing your bottom in that and push out your corners so now what you have is a tote bag so we are going to make the straps um, for the D-rings okay so now you're going to cut two strips of tape that are 24 inches long and these are going to be your handles so you will peel it up, sticky side up, and you're just going to fold it onto itself halfway. You're going to do this all the way down that strip of tape. And then you're going to fold over the remaining sticky. And if you're not in a hurry, you can do it without getting these little kinks in it, but I'm trying to be fast for the sake of the video. <laughs> so, you need two of these, so go ahead and do the same thing to your next one. Okay, next you're going to need two two-inch strips of tape, and you're going to take one end of your hand, one of your handles, 
weave it through the D-ring like that, fold it upward, take a two inch strip of tape, cover the front, and fold over your remaining sticky. If you didn't use the D-rings, then I guess you really don't need to watch this part. So, next you're going to do the same thing on this other side. So you're just going to weave the one end in. Like that. Take your other two inch strip of tape. Cover up the front. Fold over the remaining sticky. And now you're going to do the exact same thing to your other side here. When putting this together, when putting your strap into your D-rings, make sure that you have the exact same length on both sides as far as it wrapping around. Because you don't want one handle to be larger than the next. So measure it in there. I like to line it up like that because when folding it over to your D-rings, uh, sometimes you lose dimensions and it could not turn out to be the exact same size. So that's kind of what you want to do is to measure it within this one and then just tape it over like I just showed you. So once you have your straps attached to your tote bag, you are now finished and you can use your new tote bag. So if you happen to make one of these and you post a picture on Instagram, I would love to see it. So don't forget to tag me in it and my Instagram link will be down below in the description. And if you didn't like the way that the straps were attached in this bag, I do make other purse tutorials where I teach different ways of doing straps. So I'll also have those linked down below in the description so it'll be easy to find. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye!